I mean, I guess look look at the people that were in the stadium tonight. Look at the buzz that was around this city tonight. The energy and and look at the commitment these players have put forward wearing this jersey, representing this club and this city. I mean, as a coach, I'm spoiled. So they're, they're every single one of them from start to finish are absolute first class players, role models, people, and we're so proud that they're attached to this club and this city. Can you take us through the thought process on the lineup and then just how proud you are of the group, uh, given the circumstances of how many games you've, yeah. you've got over the next few days? So <clears throat> part, of, part of the thought process is we've we got to protect our players. we got to make sure that everybody's fresh, everybody's ready to go. we got a game on Wednesday. We only played two, three days ago. We played two days prior to that. So there, there's a real piece here where we're managing load of the players. We're making sure there's a lot of injury prevention in every decision we make. Um, so we, we brought in 11 new players tonight and every single one of them stepped up to the plate. Every single one stepped forward, committed themselves to the game, represented the club and represented each other on such a marvellous level. And um, as we, we talked about in the locker room, this isn't just, tonight wasn't just kind of representing a club, it's, it's representing an idea and a vision. And I think we did a fantastic job of that. So yeah, it's, it's a special night. The, the sub of Michelle, was that one that you had to make to go to Katie, or was that something that you wanted to do to give her the opportunity at this point? Can you talk us through that? In the last two months, Katie Lund has turned things up a notch, and we wanted to get Katie in there. We wanted her to play. We wanted her to, to get that chance, this platform, and my goodness, she stepped up, and she got what she deserved. She got what she deserved. And Michelle gave us the platform to, to allow her to, to step in and shine. So, I mean, it's a collective. It's absolutely, I know what will happen. Everybody want to know about Kitty Lund. And I, I will say it, I'm so proud of her. But every single one of them defended that goal. Every single one of them attacked the other end. And they'll back each other up and say that. So, it's a it's a pretty special moment for her as well. Christy, as a coach, how do you describe, like, the emotional roller coaster of watching a penalty shootout from the sideline there? It's a roller coaster. It definitely is. You know, you back your players. What we said to them: composure, clarity, and back yourself. Don't change your mind. And they stepped up. I mean, I think we had to post twice. So you're, you're talking a matter of inches there between. It could have been over very early, or we dragged it out a little bit. But players stepping up, substitutes stepping up, players that have limited time stepping up, and then Katie Lund being Katie Lund. How, how difficult is that to go from immediately stopping all these shots to stepping up to the spot and having to kick that in yourself? I, I got to say, that's not easy. Stepping up and taking a penalty is not easy, full stop. And the, as we said before, these are all winners at this point. These are all winners. Go get what you deserve. All right? And for Katie not only to, to save penalties from some absolutely world-class players and then step up and take a penalty the way she did, I mean, it's brilliant. It, it's absolutely brilliant. And uh, she deserves all the credit in the world for it. How often do you see a goalkeeper take a penalty shot, much less make one? Well, very rarely, I'll be quite honest with you, very, very rarely. One thing they have is they strike the ball very cleanly, but she went with composure. I thought she would hit it very hard. She went with composure and placed it, which was mind-blowing. So you don't see it very often for a reason, I suppose. That means there's a, it's a late night and it's been dragged out and, and she stepped up the plate and did it with so much composure and confidence. It's, it's, it's marvelous. It's absolutely brilliant. This is her debut in this level. You see a lot more of her. Yeah, I mean the goalkeeping position is definitely a difficult position. It's not like there's a you don't change it typically halfway through a game. Um, we'll definitely see more Katie Lund. She's only starting her career. She's 22 years old. Michelle Betos has been absolutely fantastic this season. Probably the best goalkeeper in the league at this point, leading the league in saves. And they know that Katie is right there pushing her and making her uncomfortable. Elevates Michelle's game to the next level and brings Katie with her. So they're a great tandem, working hand in hand in practice. People don't get to see the dirty work they do. Tomorrow morning, they'll be on the field. They'll be on the field when we're all sleeping and probably got a sore head. They'll be out doing the business, and that's why they get to do this. So. Michelle seemed to be a little woozy when she came off. Was that a decision you had made in advance, or did you notice that we she were, was not herself? She wasn't herself. She, she had taken a few collisions. There was one or two left on her quite late down at the other end. She had an injury coming in. Um, so, you know, we were hoping we would get a, a, an opportunity for Kitty to play and that opportunity presented itself. So it was, it was a combination of Michelle not feeling great and Katie Long chomping at the bit. So a little bit of a perfect storm. Lucy, you mentioned the word vision, and after every match, you always talk about the process and keeping that in mind. I would have to think a night like tonight is what you envision when all of this starts. Do you allow yourself to kind of enjoy the, an actual result like this? Uh, you know, this is for the girls. This is for the owners. This is for the management. They set the vision out in front of us, and 
every single player in this club steps up on a daily basis and empties the tank for this club and to represent themselves to, in the club so they have an opportunity to do what they did tonight. Our, any victories we have will always be a byproduct of the growth behind the scenes. And that, that comes from the values driven from ownership, the values driven from the daily actions of our management. The players see it, they see the commitment, and the commitment's given straight back, and they get the reward through these nice victories. We'll sit down, we'll look to see, is it get, are we getting better? We'll definitely analyze that. To see them go toe to toe with a serious, one of the best teams in the world, and come out on the other side, you can't ask anything more. So yeah, it's nice, but we need to make sure we're getting better every single day. Hey, Christy, educate me here. If they had matched each other, would they just keep rotating? What would happen? Yeah, someone else asked me the same question. Um, they would have went right through. They wouldn't have pulled up substitutions. They would have um, They would have cycled it back to the first penalty taken. We would have went. Been we would have been here until the cows came home. We heard they were going to PR people. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's exactly it. I can't, can't wait to see the city out here now. All, all the drama at the end might oversell the goals that you had in, in regulation, but you keep this sports center type of I know. football. And How special. Was a, big you know, it, I'm so happy for them. It's, it's, that's, that's a reward for the hard work. I, I, I get to see the stuff Yuki and Jorian does behind the scenes, so I'm spoiled in that sense. And to see Yuki put one in the top bag like that with such ridiculous athleticism and precision, we knew she's got it in her locker all the time. And, and the moment just came together to do it on this stage and that, in that moment of the game, that's, that's Yuki Nakasato in a nutshell. And Jorian Bokum as well, stepping up, causing a problem, taking opportunities. Couldn't be prouder, could not be prouder.